Hey everybody, this is Brian with Bear Cards 34 Today I'm coming back with a little video of some of my favorite players from my alma mater of Utah State University. Last night was homecoming for the Utah State Aggies. They've been having a pretty tough year this year. I'm not going to lie, it's been pretty rough. Uh, however, it was a great game last night up in Logan, Utah is where the Aggies play. Uh, so my family and I were able to go up there. My parents were there as well. And my sister, we just had a really good time. And we got to watch Utah State defeat Air Force. So the Aggies were a 10.5 point underdog going into the game. And they won by a touchdown. So it was a really fun game. Uh, one thing that was really cool, actually, is I got to meet former Utah State lineman uh, who went on to have a really good NFL career. I remember him uh, with the Raiders quite a bit, Donald Penn. Now, he really stands out. He is a big guy. And so I knew it was him when I saw him, uh, but I did go over and, and say, hey, are you Donald Penn? And he said, yes, I am. And I told him that I was a big fan of his, really enjoyed his career, that he had a great career. And he said, thanks a lot, buddy. I appreciate that. And gave me a, a pat on the back. So big guy. Um, he was with his kids. It looked like, you know, everybody, including myself, we were all trying to find seats and, and, and get to our, our places for the game. I thought about getting a selfie with him, but, you know, just didn't feel like it was maybe the right time. I did, however, take a picture of him walking down the steps uh, towards his seat uh, from behind, but quite a big guy. I'll, I'll show a quick picture of that. All right, so as an alumni of Utah State, the, the legend there above all others, is Hall of Fame NFL great Merlin Olson. He has a statue. Uh, I've shown that in a previous video or two, but there's a statue of him just outside of the stadium. Uh, I'm going to include a couple snapshots of video from the game. And so if anybody's interested in seeing, uh, you know, the Utah State Stadium and what kind of looks like on a game night, uh, stick around for that at the very end. But I decided to highlight just a couple of my favorite Utah State players. I did a video similar to this when I went to a University of Utah game uh, recently as well. So a lot of people, you know, when they think of the Utah State Aggies, they're going to think of NFL great Louis Aguiar, punter for the Jets. However, I would make a case for Merlin Olson. You know, he was an all-pro and pro bowler almost every year that he played. One of the all-time greats for sure. That's his 1964 Philadelphia rookie card um, in a PSA 8. I also have a PSA 8 of his 1965 Philadelphia. And uh, also, I've got this uh, 1969 Tops in a PSA 8. And I really love this set. This is a good card right here. 1972, also in a PSA 8. And then I've got the 1973 in a PSA 8 right there. And his final card, the 1975 Tops, also in a PSA 8. So I'm, I'm kind of considering, I mean, I, I, I am considering, I, I'm, I'd like to one day be able to, you know, have a run of his cards uh, in a PSA 8. I think that would be pretty cool if I'm able to uh, pick them all up. Some of them are not cheap, obviously, uh, so it may take me a while, but, uh, but I'm hoping one day to have a, a complete collection of Merlin in the PSA 8s. A couple other pretty notable players from Utah State from back in the day would include Cornell Green. Uh, he's a, an Aggie legend here. What's funny though is he was a two-time All-American in college but not in football. He did not play football in college. He was a two-time All-American uh, in basketball and he was actually drafted in 1962 by the Chicago Zephyrs who I believe now are the Washington Redskins, or Washington Redskins, Washington Wizards, wrong sport, wrong team name even, even nowadays. Uh, but anyway, uh, he was great. You know, he was a Super Bowl champion with the Cowboys, four-time All-Pro, five-time Pro Bowler. So he's he's one of the, the greats from back then. Uh, another one here, this is uh, Bill Munson. This is his uh, 1965 rookie in a PSA 8. He was a really successful quarterback at Utah State. Passed away a few years ago, uh, played for the Rams and the Lions most notably. And right here we've got Alti Taylor. This is his uh, rookie card, I believe. Uh, 1971 Tops PSA 8. Uh, Alti Taylor was a really good running back with, with Utah State. And he went on uh, at one point in 1973. He was the Lions MVP. 
and uh, in 1975 he became the Lions' all-time leading rusher. Uh, obviously, that has since been surpassed by a few people, but uh, you know he was a very, very good running back in the NFL for quite a few years. Uh, also passed away um, not that long ago. Well, maybe it was, it was a little while back, but uh, yeah. So a couple Aggie legends right here, and someone who is more my time. Someone that, uh, in fact, I'll mention that real quick um, after I show this one. So here is a Rulon Jones. Uh, that's technically his rookie card, the 1983 tops in a PSA nine. He had a 1981 Broncos team leader card that he was also featured on, but this is considered his rookie card. Uh, he was a very successful defensive end for the Broncos, made some Pro Bowls, and a uh, really good player. Got to meet him once, get his autograph in person. He was at a, a local uh, optical like lens uh, glasses store uh, and uh, did autographs. My mom took my brothers and I to that, and we were pretty excited to be able to meet him. And uh, then he retired, like right out, like just within weeks of that, uh, he had announced his retirement. So anyway, uh, my dad went to the football game with me. He went to Utah State just like me, and he grew up telling me stories of, of Utah State, Utah State players, uh, really got me into the football program up there. And so when he came over before the game, you know, I showed him, you know, some of these cards and uh, had him reminisce. And it was really nice. You know, he never collected cards, but he was always a big fan of, of the NFL and college and these players. So it was kind of nice to pick his brain and get his impressions on some of those cards. And a couple other guys from my childhood. Al Smith, uh, he was a very successful linebacker with the Oilers, made some Pro Bowls. Uh, Greg Cregan was another good one. I don't have a card of him at the moment. Uh, Chris Cooley was another guy with Washington who made some Pro Bowls. Very popular player over there with the team for sure. Uh, Darwin Thompson, who's with Seattle now, but uh, as a rookie, I think he's either his rookie or second year with Kansas City. Uh, he won a Super Bowl with the team. Got to play in the Super Bowl a little bit, which was nice to see. Uh, so those are some of the, the good players there. And, of course, uh, more recently, if we, if we talk about, you know, players – currently in the NFL. He doesn't play at all, obviously, uh, but uh, Jordan Love with Green Bay. He had a great college career with Utah State. I'm hoping at some point he'll get a chance to play. I'd prefer it to be somewhere other than Green Bay as a Bears fan. That's definitely a conflict of interest for me. And one thing I'm really excited about uh, just now, I'm recording this uh, on Sunday morning just before the, the, the NFL games are starting. This is Devin Tompkins. He was amazing at Utah State last year. He was second in uh, college football w last year with over 1,700 yards. He was a third-team All-American. And he was an undrafted free agent from Tampa Bay. He had some really good catches in the preseason, and I was really hoping he might make the team. However, uh, he was on the practice squad, and he has been all season on the practice squad Um there had been some injuries and things, and I was really hoping they might call him up, but instead they signed Cole Beasley, and then Beasley retired after two games. And so this week, Devin Tompkins has been called up. He's dressed today. He's going to be playing uh, with the Buccaneers versus the Falcons. He'll be wearing number 83. I'm not sure how much playing time he'll get, but I, I'd love to see him get on the field, so crossing my fingers for that. But definitely happy to have that. I have a couple uh, Sage autographs of his, uh, different colored variations there. So uh, rooting for him, for sure. And then lastly, I just want to uh, make note of, uh, these are the two guys uh, right here. Uh, Robert Turbin, Turbo, and Bobby Wagner. This is Bobby in his Utah State uniform. These two guys right here are a huge part of why I got back into the hobby. In fact, I don't even think I'd have a channel today. I don't know that I would have really gotten serious about collecting again. If it hadn't been for these two, uh, I was in. I went back to school at Utah State for grad school while they were there. You know, so they were up at, at the stadium or up at the um, at the university when I was there going to grad school. So just being a student again and being able to see them play and to root for them and to see the success that they had, um, and then to go into the NFL and do what they did. You know, these two they were drafted together by the Seahawks. Turbin was a very good backup running back. His rookie year, he only started one game in place of Marshawn Lynch, but he ran for over 100 yards in that game. Um, he played quite a bit in the Super Bowls. 
so they won a Super Bowl. Uh, they went to another one after that. Uh, Bobby Wagner, of course, has been much more successful of the two in the NFL. He is currently with the Rams. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's done enough now in his career. He will be a Hall of Famer. And so I'm very excited to see that. I was able to watch these two get inducted into the Utah State Football Hall of Fame uh, last uh, or earlier this year. There's a video I have of that if you guys want to check it out if you haven't already. But these two, I was just so excited to see these guys make it in the NFL, get successful. So right around that time, around 2013, 2014, um, after they had started to make a mark in the NFL, I wanted to get their cards, and before I knew it, I just kind of wanted to get cards in general again, and that got me back into the hobby. And you guys may have seen with, with Bobby Wagner, he was in the news recently, there was that protester, or whatever you want to call him, who jumped over the uh, the rail and got onto the field during a game, and security was having a tough time getting a hold of him. He's running around with a you know some kind of a flare or smoke, whatever, and uh, so Bobby Wagner and one of the other Rams players decided that was enough, and uh, Bobby tackled him. And I know Bobby could have tackled him even harder if he had, if he had wanted to. Uh, so anyway, that guy actually filed a police report against Bobby Wagner. I don't think much will come of that. This guy was trespassing. Who knows what he was going to be doing. They asked Bobby Wagner about it, and he basically just said, I don't really care about that. I'm just concerned about the security guy who got hurt trying to uh, stop that guy. So... That was kind of Bobby Wagner's uh, little news story from this past week. Anyway, these are some of my favorite players. Just wanted to show you that. Um, if you guys checked out that hit he had, um, yeah, it made for some interesting news for sure. Okay, well, that will do it as far as the uh, highlight of my cards from uh, some of my favorite Utah State Aggies. There are a bunch more I could have thrown in here, but those are just a few that kind of jumped out at me today. Uh, so now, if you would like, feel free to check out a little bit of the atmosphere up at Logan, Utah, where they uh, had the homecoming game. Just kind of check out the stadium. You know, this is the place where Merlin played. The field is named after him. It literally is on the field. His statue's out front. Uh, Robert Turbin even got to call the game, uh, the tele televised game last week for the Aggies, which was kind of cool to see him doing that. Uh, Wagner, Jordan Love, all those guys that have, that have played there over the years. And so anyway, feel free to check out a little snapshot of that, and I will be back with more videos in the near future. Everybody have a great rest of your weekend and a great week coming up, and take care.